Hello everyone and welcome to Crafting with Settlers of the Nen Valley. Thank you so much for being here. This is the second video in our Settlers Crafting series and this week we're going to learn how to make these coil clay bowls. If you missed last week's video, we learned how to make our very own warrior bands by weaving on a loom. If you want to watch that video, it's linked in the description box below this video. To make this project you will need something to protect your work surfaces. I'm using a craft mat but you could just use newspaper. You also need some air drying clay or some plasticine or some salt dough or any other modelling material. A small amount of water in a container and if you have particularly sensitive or dry skin you may wish to wear protective gloves. This activity can be messy, so we advise that you wear an apron to protect your clothes. To begin this project, we're going to make the base and we start by rolling some of our clay into a small ball. And then using this part of our hand, you're going to squash the ball so it roughly forms a disc. You can use your fingers to shape the base and make it a little thinner. If you find that your clay is starting to get dry and crack around the edges, dip your finger in some water and just smooth the edges over. Put your base to one side and now we're going to start making the walls of our bowl. So take another piece of clay and start to roll it into a sausage shape. Try and make your sausage an even thickness all the way along. You can check the length of your sausage against the base of your bowl. It's okay if the ends of your sausage overlap slightly. Just squash them together so that they don't come apart. Next, take another dab of water and just smooth the water around the edge of the base and then place your sausage on top. To join the first part of your wall to your base, use your finger to smooth the sausage into the base. You can support the outside of the bowl with your hand if you need to. If you have a join here like I do, you can take some water and smooth the join together to make the wall of your bowl nice and strong. Move this to one side again and make a second sausage. Again, check the length of your sausage against your bowl. When your sausage is long enough, put a little water on the top edge of your bowl and lie your new piece of clay on top. Now we're going to support the outside of the bowl with our hand and just smooth the join from the new piece of clay into the rest of the bowl in the same way as we've done before. At this point the outside of your bowl looks like this and we can use the same smoothing technique on the outside of our bowl as we have been doing on the inside. So support your bowl from the inside and use your finger to smooth the clay down to the bottom. Keep building the sides of your bowl in this way until you're happy with how high the walls are. Usually adding four or five pieces of clay is enough to create similar sized bowls to the ones I showed you at the beginning of this video. Beakers, pots and bowls just like these ones, were found at the Bronze Age settlement at Stanick Lakes. These beakers and pots would have been used for food, for drinks like beer and mead, and would even have been used as tools in metalworking. People that were wealthy had highly decorated pots, but most ordinary people would have had plain pots. If the sausage that you make for your bowl is too long, don't worry. Simply hold your piece of clay at the point where you want to break your sausage and gently twist the clay 
until it comes off and you're left with a nice flat end which you can join just like that. When you're happy with the size of your bowl, put it to one side. If you're using air dry clay, your bowl should be dry within two days or so. If you're using salt dough, please ask an adult to help you bake it. Remember to wash your hands before you do anything else. We really hope you enjoyed making your coil bowl with us this week. If you did enjoy yourself and you want more settlers crafting, make sure you tune in next week when we'll be making a miniature garden journal just like this one here. If you don't want to miss out make sure you subscribe to the Settlers YouTube channel and we'll see you all next time. Bye bye!